Hello guys, uh, today we're gonna do a review of uh, the car SMG and we're gonna compare it uh, with uh, the R99 which is the closest uh, weapon uh, uh, similar to this one so this is uh, the car SMG, you're gonna find it uh, where the heavy ammo guns are and let's pick it up its uh, main difference is it can use heavy and light ammo by pressing the, the toggle uh, fire fire mode uh, button you can change the gun from heavy to light so this makes this uh, gun very uh, uh, easy to use especially in the beginning uh, where you don't have too many types of ammo maybe you have a little heavy a little light you can use uh, this gun with both types of, of ammo this also means it uses both uh, magazines heavy magazine and uh, light magazine so you can use the heavy mag on the car and you can use also the the light mag doesn't matter if you have light ammo or heavy ammo both magazines are used uh, on this gun you might have only light ammo and find a heavy mag you can still use it by using uh, light ammo and vice versa so next thing i'm going to talk about is about uh, this gun's attachments uh, it can take uh, a buyer stabilizer a standard stock so let's put those on and it can take optics up to uh, two times uh, magnifier it cannot take uh, three times or four times or of course any sniper uh, um, sight so it can use a thermal and the classic uh, one time and uh, everything up to two times okay uh, best to use it with uh, one-time sp scopes like uh, uh, the hollow or the eight scope one time or the digital uh, threat. Now uh, the iron sight, uh, it's not that bad. It's not that good. Uh, it's uh, it's a very mediocre iron sight. Uh, the main reason is that uh, you lose uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, side from uh, the side the sides of the iron side uh, there are other SMGs like the R99 that uh, the iron side is a lot of a lot better especially if you have uh, uh, some skins other than the uh, the default but uh, nevertheless it's uh, usable until you find uh, a scope now I'm gonna talk about uh, this gun's um, uh, rate of fire and uh, damage per second uh, for doing that. I'm gonna go to this uh, page here. Here you can see this gun's uh, specs. It has a high rate of fire and uh, a very high uh, uh, DPS which means damage per second it has uh, I think the higher DPS of all automatic guns and here is when I'm gonna start comparing it with uh, its uh, with a gun which is very familiar very similar which is the R99 SMG so you're gonna see these two guns are really close um, R99 has a higher rate of fire than the, um, the car but the DPS is very similar and DPS on the car is 201.5 compared to 198 of the R99 R99 is uh, slightly less the reason that the DPS is higher it is that uh, damage to head and body is higher than the R99 so R99 has a higher rate of fire but smaller damage on head and uh, body 
Uh, so that's why car has a higher uh, DPS. And here I'm gonna leave this like that so you can compare uh, the two guns, the damage they do. Uh, you see R99 has a slightly uh, less damage to the head than the car. And same for body and uh, legs. Uh, uh, 45 Legends, uh, you see the damage. 45 Legends are Caustic and um, the other big guy post again and how it's called uh gibi gibradal uh, caustic and gibradal these are the 45 uh, fortified uh, legends which they get uh, less damage when you hit them you see here what uh damage uh they get and up i'm gonna bring it slightly up so you can make also on your own uh the comparisons you can see the recoils uh, most important is uh, dps damage per second okay higher on car rate of fire um higher or r99 now i'm gonna talk about the this gun's recoil uh this uh yeah, the car has a vertical recoil recoil starting to the left and then going slightly to the right uh, the R99 is the other way, it's vertical and it goes to the right. So, in general, heavy guns, uh, they go, all guns go vertical, uh, heavy uh, ammo guns go to the left, uh, light ammo guns go to the right, and let's go to the fire range and see how exactly it works. You're gonna see. Uh, first i'm gonna do on ads or on ads aiming down the side you're gonna see the gun going slightly to the left and then to the right so you see the gun went slightly to the left and then to the right when i hip fire it goes all around okay that's a problem with this gun when you hip fire you don't have a very good pattern of your recoil when you ads you see now i'm out of light ammo i'm gonna go to heavy ammo when you ads the pattern is about the same slide to the left and then to the right let's go take an r99 and we compare uh the the recoils let's give all attachments to this gun okay let's see now ads with r99 ads car okay you see that one, the car goes left the r99 goes right and at the end both go to the other side car goes from left to right r99 goes from um, uh, right to left so on adsing you're gonna see that the patterns of recoil is really familiar let's see what happens uh, when you hip fire that's the r99 let's do it again Let's do this with a car. So you see the R99, uh, it's about stays to the center, goes up and you don't have a big spread. With the car, you have a bigger spread from uh, the beginning of your uh, hip fire. So for hip firing, R99 is better than the car. So as much of uh, about recoil, um, I think that R99 has a better hip fire recoil to control compared to car. Uh, when we talk about ADSing on the recoil, it looks um, about the same. The only difference is it's the other way. One goes left, right. The other goes right, left. 
R99 goes uh, right left, car goes left uh, right. Uh, before, uh, so in conclusion, I'm gonna talk about uh, com uh, the last comparison of the two guns and then about the car. Uh, R99 has a higher hip, uh, hip, uh, rate of fire, so its uh, disadvantage is that it takes, uh, it, cons it consumes a lot of ammo when you use it, so you need a lot of ammo uh when you're using uh, this uh the gun 180 of light ammo may not be enough for you when you use uh, uh this gun to a uh, fight also a uh, high hip high rate of fire makes this gun a little bit difficult to control but it's uh, better when you hip fire than uh the car car on the other side uh, its advantage is that uh, when you have a lower rate of fire it's more uh, controllable you can control it uh, easier than the R99 uh, as much of uh, ADSing both guns are about uh, the same Another main advantage uh, of car, uh, which has to do that it uses uh, both uh, types of ammo, heavy and light, is not only that uh, in the early, in the in the start of the game that you find both ammos uh, and you don't have too much of them, and you can use them both on the gun. Is that you can you, you can use this gun uh, with another heavy or light. Uh, ammo gun and let me explain that let's say that uh, you have a lot of heavy okay and you were you were using a flat line flat line is a a, a less uh, rate of fire gun so what you can do is use the flat line together with the car and uh and like flatline is your main gun and you have a lot of heavy and you don't have a very big backpack so you don't have too much space you can say i'm using heavy ammo and i have my flatline or longer range middle medium longer range range fights and i have my car for a medium shorter range so with one kind uh, of ammo you have a nice smg and uh, a very good maybe one of the best uh, ars uh, season 11 uh, weapons this can work uh, the other way too let's say you don't have heavy ammo and you have light ammo you have an uh, r301 that's your main gun because uh you have uh, everything good for this gun you can say that i have uh the car like my medium short range fights so, so you have your r your r301 for medium long range and you have the car for a uh, shorter range so that's what i have to say about car i like this gun i think uh, that players should give it uh, some more time uh, to use it I suggest you guys uh, go out there and use this gun you're gonna see that uh, it's uh, better than uh, it looks I hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, see you next time bye bye